All right, we got some shoulders and arms. Everybody give me some shoulder press. Everybody give me some shoulder press. Start warming up with me. No more Thanksgiving trivia. Now it's serious talk, all right? <laughs> that was fun, though. Everybody give me some shoulder press. Any kind of shoulder press. Alternating. I know you saw that board. Alternating shoulder press. Aaron press. Arnold press. Swimmer press. What are the presses are there? Military press. I don't think you know what that is. Neutral grip press. Just rep it out. Give me a thruster, a squat, and a press. A squat and a press. Deep squat all the way down. Thankful for you all being here, working hard on your health. This whole year, you have all been successful. I'm proud of you. Successful meaning you stay consistent to exercise and your health when you could have gained 30 pounds like so many people have this year. Not you. Give me V-ups and some core. Give your arms a little bit of a break. Keep warming up our body. Getting blood flow to the muscles, to our brains. Maybe we're not quite woken up yet, but we will be. We will be. Flip over to plank. And let's go right into side plank. Hip raises. Drop the hip raise the hip. Getting some movement in, getting those obliques. Switch sides. Dropping the hips, raising those hips. Show me a Turkish get up. Show me your Turkish get up. Let's see what we got here. Okay, good. I like what I see here. Very nice. Oh, we all know what a Turkish get up is. That's good. Trying to balance that weight above the head, straight above the head. Just give me a couple per side. Go Trump pace. Couple per side. And go right into burpees with a push up. Hey, we just we did burpee no push up earlier. 
And when you're doing burpee with a push up. I just want to make a curl and press, curl and press. Get some arm work in. You're going to be hitting some arms, bicep, triceps today, as well as shoulders. Give me overhead tricep extension. Get those triceps. And drop down tricep push up. And then we'll get started here because it's about that time. It is about that time. Okay, hop on up, get some water, let's get started. This is going to be our first group today. We got shoulder press, alternating shoulder press. Again, we've been doing a ladder workout all week. So again, ladder workout, you're going to start with six reps of each of these exercises. Six alternating shoulder press, six hold rep curls, six snatch, six overhead tricep extension, and then we're going to finish off with 12 thrusters. Always finishing off with 12 thrusters in this group. Then that next round... Got eight, 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 12. Then that next round, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12. And so forth all the way up until you can get to probably around 16, maybe 18 reps. That will be seven or so rounds. If you can get through it. I've got some high hopes though because we've got some hustlers in this session. So I think that some of you will get to that 16 or 18th rep round alternating shoulder press you're going to hold the weights above the head all the way above the head and then bring one down bring one up bring the other one down bring the other one up that's one rep i'm doing six per side same with the hold rep curl holding them up above 90 degrees bring one down bring it up bring one the other one down bring it up that's one rep so again you're doing six per side all righty let's get started if you have any questions feel free to ask me at any point but we are going to get this timer going in 10 seconds starting with that arnold Oh, I'm sorry, starting with that alternating press. Five, four, three, two, one. And begin. Give me a six per side alternating press. I'm going to keep this board up for the first minute and a half or so so you can get that first group. You should definitely be able to get that first group, maybe even halfway through that second group in a minute and a half. So try to memorize these exercises. so that you can hustle through these rounds nice and easily without question, okay? Push yourself, challenge yourself, work hard.
All right. It's about a minute and a half. Let's see where we are at. So I'm thinking you're past. I think you're on that second round of alternating shoulder press. Oh, thrusters. My bad. Okay, we're on thrusters. Some of us, Stacy, are on that next round. There we go. Very nice. A lot of shoulders in this round. It's going to be a tough grip. It's going to be a tough workout in general. Looking good, though. Got to keep a nice, consistent pace. But wow, you are going to be on fire. Literally every exercise, <laughs> we're getting some sort of shoulder work, you know, because the biceps and the triceps are connected to the shoulder. So literally every exercise. So make sure you're working on proper form on those curls, keeping those shoulders back, trying not to let those shoulders roll forward. Very nice. Oh, Angela, I know you got some heavier weights than that girl. <laughs> I know you want to use those heavier weights, Ange. Thank you. Good work, at least for a couple. At least for a few of the rounds. But this is going to be, a, I think this will be a hard workout this, this day. A extra burn going on. Because I know we are going to eat a lot tomorrow. Thanksgiving. How about this one? How about this one? You remember this one? What was the world record? What was the most expensive dinner? Thanksgiving dinner. Remember this one? $150,000 at New York. Some New York steak place. How many people, though? That's my question. How many people were at that dinner? One, two people? If it was like 500 people, then I'd be like, yeah, it makes sense. But if it was like three people, I'd be like, whoa. Whoa, buddy. Calm down there. I, I'm guessing it's had to be for some big old event. That's what I'm guessing. Everybody give me 30 V-ups fast. 30 V-ups fast. I'm going to mix in some abdominals to give you a little bit of a rest on your shoulders. On these V-ups, I want to see the feet off the ground the whole time. Feet off the ground. So I keep those legs nice and straight. I know it's easy to keep them bent. It's easier. So if you need to keep them bent, I get it. I get it. But if you want to really push yourself, if you really want that extra challenge, keep those legs locked out nice and tight and straight. Once you're done with those 20 VIPs, very nice. Getting right back into it. Very good. A little, a little about halfway through the set. What are we on set 10? Monica? Good. How about you, Alana? Set 10? Good. I'm guessing that we're all on set 10. Looks like you guys are all pretty much on the same pace. Which means you're all hustlers. Working hard. That's what that means.
how those shoulders feeling? Are you gonna fall off yet? Tell us, you could probably use one heavier dumbbell. I know you have a heavier dumbbell, right? So use a one heavier dumbbell for those overhead extension. Oh, Monica, you should definitely hold those two dumbbells for that one. You know, that one light dumbbell. A little too light for you, young lady. You know, you gotta push yourself. I am. I'm pushing myself, John. I swear, I promise. Everybody give me 20 windshield wipers. 20 windshield wipers. And then you got about a two and a half minutes to go in this round. Good work. Last minute and a half. Come on, Monica, finish those windshield wipers. Chelsea, what happened to those weights? What happened to those weights, girl? You better pick those other weights up. Yeah, Alana, what happened to that barbell or that snatch? I know you've been using I know you've been using those dumbbells all day. But uh, you know. You too, Monica. What happened to those barbells? That's weird. I thought you both had barbells. I guess I guess you must have given them away to a less fortunate person. Because you know you weren't using them. You know. Last minute. Good work. Good work. Everybody give me 10 burpee tuck jumps. 10 burpee tuck jumps. 10 burpee tuck jumps.
That's a. Okay, we got Arnold Press. We got Hammer Curl. We got Lado Rage. We got Tricep Kickback. We got Turkish Getup again. Six, 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 three per side. Turkish Getup. Eight, 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 three per side. Turkish Getup. Ten, 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 ten. This one you should be able to get through way more rounds. I'm thinking you all should get through 18, maybe 16 on this one. A little bit easier on this one. Faster exercises. All right. Well, let's get started. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Keep this board up for a couple minutes, minute and a half. In a minute and a half, you should be able to get through like, all right, the Turkish get ups will be your limiting factor. That'll take you about a minute. Maybe, that'll take you a minute. But otherwise, it should be pretty easy. So we'll see how you get through it. See how you do. This week, I finished my next book I was reading. Last week, I read a couple books. One was really short. Eh, they're both pretty short. Today, this week, I just finished The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. It's a good one. Meaning that whatever obstacles are in your way, overcoming them, and surpassing them is the key to becoming stronger and having a fulfilling life. Because no matter what you do in life, there's going to be obstacles that are going to be thrown in your way. They're going to challenge you. Challenge your mind, challenge you physically, emotionally. I really like that one. It's pretty. It was pretty interesting. It gives a lot of, uh, each chapter starts with a story about somebody who went through some crazy, crazy obstacle like that email i wrote this uh, on monday one of the first few stories in the book was about that boxer who spent 19 years in jail for a crime he didn't commit and the way he overcame it is by studying law philosophy and history in order to fight his way out and he did that was a cool one. And there were many, many dozens of other stories. Super, super interesting if you want to go into that one. So if you're feeling like you're facing something in your life that's tough, read that book and it'll put you in a different mindset. All different stories from all different people and all different walks of life. But at the end of the day, it all matters in your life. What are you overcoming in your life? What are you doing in your life? It's making you better. Good book. Quick read. Quick read. He's got a couple other good books. Another book by Ryan Holiday I highly suggest everybody read is called Trust Me, I'm Lying. That's a great one for our our uh, society now and now and nowadays. It's about how the media manipulates and lies. This guy was a journalist, Ryan Holiday, for many years. And oftentimes he would manipulate and skew a story around just to get people's reaction. And he said that how high level actors, politicians would come to him and they would ask him to write a negative story about them so that they would get more views 
essentially. Isn't that crazy? They would ask them to write negative stories. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Even if they had to lie and tell half-truths. He says that that's how a lot of these journalists do it. Wow, that was a, that was an eye opener. I read that one earlier this year, but wow, it was so relevant, so relevant. So trust me, I'm lying is a good one, and then opposite the obstacle is the way. Two good books. Another one I um, I read is called the Ego. Is I forget what it was the Ego is the enemy, your own ego. It's a good one. Good books though. Good books, if you like to read. I don't know. I'm all about self improvement. Everybody give me 40 bicycles. 40 bicycles per leg, per side. <laughs> per leg, per side. 40 bicycles. I read on average a book a week. Some people are like, wow, how do you find so much time to read? I was talking to my a couple of friends the other a couple of weekends ago. And I was talking to them how I like to read. And then they're like, how does a guy like you have the time to read? I'm like, what do you mean? Isn't that very time consuming? I'm like, not really. I read like 30 minutes a day. How do you read a whole book in a week? I read 30 minutes a day. Really? Yeah, I just don't invest it in mindlessly going on social media, mindlessly watching TV, mindlessly playing games, mindlessly watching TV. I just don't do that stuff anymore. I don't get wasted on the weekends anymore like I did in college. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. It really helps. <laughs> 30 minutes a day. 20 to 30 pages. You read 20 to 30 pages a day, man, at the end of the at the end of the week, it's a lot of pages. You know, 200 plus pages at the end of the, at the end of the week you could read a whole book easily. Most books are about 200 pages, maybe a little more. You don't have time to read? Do you have time to listen? While you're doing your laundry? Do you have time to listen? While you're on a walk, Monica here told me that she does audiobooks when she run when she ran, right? Monica, I love that. She ran for an hour, probably listened to at least an hour, maybe, of an audiobook. It's awesome. I find audiobooks are very helpful because I drive an hour a day, so I listen to at least an hour of audiobook, and I read about thirty minutes a day. So I do both those things. So oftentimes I'll read two books in a week. It's a hundred books a year. Like somebody put a lot of time and effort in writing a book and they put a lot of their own knowledge into that book. You can learn a lot about a lot of different things. If you want to improve, if you want to get better at your job, you want to have qualities that people might look at and be like, oh, I want that person on my team. Oh, this person, you know, this person is a, a go-getter. I like that. But a lot of people would rather just watch their soap operas, you know, the telenovelas. Did you see the next episode of Game of Thrones? Yes. Yeah. Somebody got naked. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. You know what? If watching Game of Thrones brings you ultimate happiness, I'm proud of you. I'm glad you're happy. That's all that matters. Everybody give me 15 tuck jumps. 15 tuck jumps, go! So I just finished that one. Now I'm going to read another one. Which is the one that I got? Which one did I just get? Just 
It's called the perfect day formula. Perfect day formula. It's about setting goals for each day, essentially. How to have a very efficient day and get the things, the most important things done in the day that makes you move forward. The perfect day formula. It's by uh, my other mentor, Bedros. This guy was one of his best friends, Craig Ballantyne. He was a big fitness guy. And he now coaches entrepreneurs how to be more successful. And so I was like, I'm going to read this one. You know, each it's thing, interesting thing about reading is you read a book and in each book, there's always references to other great books you can read. So it's like a never ending thing. Like you should see my Amazon account. If you went to my Amazon account, I have like literally 800 to 1,000 books that, I'm, that are on my wish list. <laughs> so many. So many. Yeah. At the end of my life, I want to have like a, a room that's just like my library. Like every wall, every square inch is covered with books. That'd be awesome. A lifetime of learning. Because that's what gives me personal happiness, knowing that I'm growing and getting a little bit better. Knowing that every book I read, I have an extra advantage over somebody who does not. I like that gives me more power in my mind it gives me more drive knowing that every book i read i have an advantage i like that it gets me excited it's like i'm leveling up it makes me feel good it gives me energy drive motivation You got one minute, last minute, boys and girls. Last minute. Don't have time to read? Get an Audible account. I think I've listened to like 200 books on Audible over the last couple of years, at least 200. Such an efficient way. Like I'm a very audio, I'm an audio learner. I can read, but reading takes me a long time. I'm a terrible reader and that's okay it doesn't bother me i just i still do it i still practice it everybody give me 50 plank hip drops to finish off this round 50 plank hip drops i started off by just listening to podcasts when i would drive and that was good i would listen to hardcore history or anything history oriented I love history, ancient history, not like recent history, like anything from 3000 BC to 180, I'm sorry, 1080. It's like my favorite. It's always very interesting to read what people were doing and how things have progressed and regressed in cycles. Very interesting to me. Very nice. Good finisher. Very nice. All right, cool. Hop up. Get some water. Let's talk about this next group. We got Aaron Press. That's when you extend your hands out wide like a Y. Send your hands out wide away from the body. So you're not going straight up. You're going out at an angle. Away from the body. Aaron Press. Then you got reverse curls with the knuckles up. Then you got clean and jerk. You got skull crushes. And you got man makers. Those man makers are going to be fun. Five man makers. All right, let's get started. If you have any questions, unmute yourself.
and ask me. Otherwise, we are going in 10. Five, four, three, two, and begin. I'm going to keep this board up for a couple minutes. Give me six reps of each. Aaron Press, reverse curl, clean and jerk, skull crush, and then five. Finishing with those five man makers. Again, a man maker is a renegade row, then a push up, and then another renegade row, and another push up, and then you're going to jump up and shoulder press. It's one of my favorite full body moves because it literally encompasses every muscle in the body. Encompasses? I don't know if that's the right word. Incorporates? Probably. Engages? Definitely. Incinerates? I don't know. Maybe. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for listening to me rant about Thanksgiving and reading. Because you know what? You can never hear too much positivity. Positive stuff. The right messages. And you know what? Brainwashing yourself with that kind of stuff is important. Because that's how I have grown to enjoy the process as I listen to my mentors day in and day out tell me things like read, invest time in X, Y, Z. And it helps. Even though for many years I was like, eh, whatevs. Eh, I don't need to read. Many, many years I was like, eh, it's not that important. Oh, come on. What could 10 minutes a day of reading do for you? Not much, right? Come on. It's just nothing. Until you get to a point when you're like, man, I'm not really happy with where I'm at. Maybe I should start listening to those who are very successful and way ahead of me. Now, I'm not saying I'm successful by any means, by any means, but I aspire to be that. I aspire to be greater. Because without goals and aspirations, what do you have in life? You're just going through the motions. That's boring. That's not fun. I don't want to live my life like that. I want to wake up with energy and excitement and without goals. Man, it's just sometimes you're just not, you don't, you don't wake up that way. Yeah. Try to see where we're at. Wider press, Monica, a wider press more to the side. I know it's tough with those tens. There we go. Nice. How those shoulders feeling? They feel like they're going to fall off yet? I bet they do. <laughs> it's been a tough workout, but you know what? Tomorrow, you're going to sit at that Thanksgiving dinner. Or wherever you're doing, whatever you're doing, whether it's by yourself or with family or by, with your friends, I give you permission. Eat a billion calories. You know, they say the average person, all right, this is my next Thanksgiving question. How many calories does the average person eat at Thanksgiving? 4,500. <laughs> 4, yeah. Alana, you like jumped at that. <laughs> can you can you go to that board really quick one more time? It was what the Aaron need? Press, the Aaron what Press, Aaron reverse Press curl, clean and jerk, skull crusher, man maker, Aaron Press. Reverse curl, clean and jerk, skull crusher, man maker. All right, Monica, you get 1,000 calories less to eat on your on your dinner tomorrow for asking that question. Okay, so when I look at my trainer eyes log out of you, I better not see 4,500 calories eaten. Okay, I want to see 3,500. 4,500 calories. I don't think we realize how much that is to eat. I don't think that's accurate. I mean, maybe if you're 350 pounds overweight, yeah, you can get away with that. But man, 4,500 calories is so many calories. That's like four McDonald's like mega meals. Can you imagine eating that? That's so much. I don't think you could. I mean, I have a hard enough time eating 20 chicken McNuggets from McDonald's. Let alone, let alone four burgers and four king size fries. Could you imagine eating that? That would be the equivalent of that. I don't think that's accurate. There's no way. Although the plumber thing the next day, maybe it is accurate. 
<laughs> That's gross. That's gross. Everybody give me 20 pike push-ups. <laughs> 20 pike push-ups. 20 pike push-ups. Stacy texted me the other day. She said she bought the book Man Up. Thank you, Stacy. I love that. Love that. You're going to get an insight on my mentor, Mr. Bedros. I had no idea he was going through some of those challenges. And it's funny because I can look back at 2010 when I signed up with him. And I remember all of those events he was talking about. It's pretty funny. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember when that happened. Oh, yeah, I remember when that drama happened. I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't know he I didn't, I didn't realize he was going through those struggles. It's like, that's motivating. I like hearing that. You know, when you hear somebody who is worth a couple hundred million now going through all those struggles that you go through, it's really motivating. It's like, oh, wow. Okay, so everybody goes through that. And I never would have known. Never would have known he was going through that. He held it, he held it under, uh, he held it well. Very motivating. Even in fitness, I go through the same struggles you guys go through. I've got temptations. I fall off the wagon. I gain weight. I lose weight. I struggle. Some days I don't want to get a lot of days I get and I don't want to work out. I got to tell you, at least 60, 70% of the time I go to the gym, I don't really want to go, <laughs> but I force myself to go because after about 30 minutes, I start feeling better. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, man, those first 30 minutes, whoo, yeah, it's tough to get going. But we all struggle with that same stuff. So even if it looks like we got our SHIT together, we don't. We're still working on it. You know, the fittest, the fittest guys in the room go through the most struggles. There's a lot of struggles to stay that fit. But it's worth it. 100 percent worth it. Otherwise, we wouldn't do it, right? My mom, I called my mom yesterday, I talked to her. She was in the hospital last week. I talked about that. She's got kidney problems with one of her kidneys. Bad. She's got diverticulitis, so inflamed intestine. Bad. And she's got four bulging discs in her back. Now, guess what that's all from? Not taking care of your body. So now she has back, she has got back pain for every day of her life for the past couple of years, and she did, had no idea why. It was her kidneys and her bulging discs. <laughs> She's only sixty. I'm like, mom, you're going to be in a wheelchair in a couple of years if this is if this is the route you're going on. Take care of your body. Take care of your health, man. Imagine yourself in a wheelchair, mom. Imagine, imagine that wheelchair because you can't even move around. You're in so much pain. You got to sit in a wheelchair all day. Your whole life is going to be changed. She's like, oh my gosh, you're right. You need to hire a trainer. And she's like, can't you just give me exercises? I'm like, no, mom, get it together. No, you got you to gotta be with somebody coaching you in the moment so that they can coach you through any pain or figure out what's going on. Stories like that, like seeing my mom in that shape. <laughs> Makes me want to stay in shape, man, because I don't want to be 60 with with potentially 30 more years of living in pain. Can you imagine living in pain for 30 years? Oh, that sounds like that sounds like hell. Like that's the that's the literal definition of hell. Being in pain and not doing anything about it, you're living in hell. So stay strong, take care of your health. Take care of your health. Because you know, health is, a, health is an interesting thing. Is You don't see the negative side effects until 20 to 30 years later, often. You graduate college, you stop playing sports, right? I hear that all the time. Kids, 25, 26 years old, they gain 30 pounds. Like, oh, well, I stopped I stopped playing sports <laughs> in college. I'll take a hold, get a hold of it now because 20 more years from now, what are you going to be another 30, 40 pounds overweight? That means you're 60 to 70 pounds overweight. Like, that's a bad place to be. And then diabetes hits you, high blood pressure, maybe even a heart attack. And 
and then you decide to take care of your health. That's the worst. That's the worst way to do it. That's the worst way to do it. I had somebody come in and tell me a story yesterday. She's like, yeah, I was in the worst shape of my life before I started this gym. And she said she went to the doctor to get everything checked up and she was borderline diabetic and high blood pressure. And she said that on the way to the doctors, she said in her head, she's like, man, I wish, I, I hope something's bad with me so I can actually get my health in, in, in order. <laughs> and then she said after the doctor, she's like, after she went to the doctor, she's like, what is wrong with me? It's like, how could I think of such a stupid way to get motivated? I hope something's wrong with me so I can get motivated to work out. She's like, what was wrong with me? She's like, and then I found you. And then I started being coached by you. <laughs> Life has never been better. But she's like, I had to go through like that really weird, really weird thought in my head. Like, I've got something has to be really wrong with me before I take care of my body. She's like, that's when I knew I needed to change. She's like, that's when I knew something was wrong. Like, well, that's such a bad outlook on life. That's what my mom said. My mom said the same thing. She was in the hospital last week. She's like, man, I hope something's wrong with me. So that it'll motivate me. <laughs> so that I can overcome it. And everybody's going to be wowed. I'm like, uh, dumb. Why would you think that? That doesn't make sense, mom. What if you die? <laughs> like, what if you die? That's not really smart. Let's take care of your health. No, you guys have one minute. Let's go. One minute. Everybody give me a man maker. Last minute. Everybody give me a man maker. Let's go. Thirty seconds. Hustle. 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 Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Thank you for joining me today. Great work. Hope you enjoyed the Thanksgiving trivia. <laughs> Thank you, John. Of course. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have a Thanksgiving. Guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you.